Good afternoon. Here we are for the last of our WebEx lectures. Um, I've been in Chicago for a couple days, so I'm a little bit... I spoke yesterday, I had to be, I talked all afternoon, so my voice is a little, a little, uh, <clears throat> stressed out. Now, today we're gonna take up the, the, the topic of, of FTR, um, Financial Transmission Right. Um, people that are in the uh, the business of trading, uh, trading commodities, particularly, uh, and and that includes electric power, you use the term hedge. Um, I I prefer. To, to me, it's 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 sim it's easier for me to understand. Uh, is 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 an, an insurance? I like just call it insurance policy. And and what it, what is an insurance policy? You you buy a policy, and basically that is to that is to protect you against a risk. You you are required and you should have good automobile insurance in uh, if you drive a car um, so that if you are in an accident and the car is damaged that's the risk the damage um, the insurance policy will cover the repairs uh, I'm not going to go into all the ins and outs of deductibles blah 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 that that doesn't matter what I'm what I'm interested in saying is that in essence there's a risk of of having an accident and having your car damaged if your car is uh, what we in America call totaled then supposedly the insurance company will will pay pay you back some replacement value um, In 2014, we had a fire in my house. Fortunately, I had an excellent fire insurance policy on the house. The fire insurance policy had to pay me for all of our personal property. That means furniture, books, of which there were probably a couple thousand, a record collection, a CD collection, all the electronics etc. Clothing um, in the house, personal property, and then they paid to have the house restored to the condition or to the to the basically the original uh, before the fire. And that this was a serious fire, and it required taking everything out of the house, stripping, you know, all the personal property out, and then stripping out all the, the, the wall, wall board, or plaster board, we call it, and um, carpeting, plumbing, electrical, all the furnace vents, all the appliances, the lighting, everything down just to the skeletal bone, uh, bones of the, of the, uh, the structure of the house, as well as the outside. There was a lot of outside damage as well. Uh, it was a big fire. Um, finally, they put my, my family and I up in a, first in a hotel for a month, and then in a rental property. It was a duplex that we rented for eight months, or well, the total, total eight months. There was a lot of money that, but but it's a huge risk, um, and 
the insurance company uh, paid for that. That's that's what insurance is, and I I prefer that. It, it, to me, it's it's because I can understand it. Hedge is is where you, you do something so that if if some price goes up or down, you're still covered. Well, we're gonna we're gonna see exactly what what that is in a financial transmission right now. I'm basing the entire lecture on this paper, which I've already put into the um, the problem session directory for today, uh, for for uh, May May fit, uh, par pardon me, May second. Um, and this is I I will tell you just a little story, a little background. I I started researching FTRs the last time I taught this course, <clears throat> which was happened to be 2014. And I, I, I found paper after paper in the IEEE which were overly complex trying to, to show, you know, various problems and solutions to problems. I just wanted to know how it worked. What was it? What did they do? This paper explained it. And it's a 2000... It was 2002, published in, in IEEE. And I finally found it. I read the paper. I, I know I know David's son. I've known him for, for years. He's uh, a, an engineer at um, Alstom. I believe he's retired now. And Andy, or Andrew Ott, is um, it's an engineer that works at the PJM. Uh, ISO or transmission operator. Uh, PJM is the grandfather of transmission operators. It was a power pool way back uh, uh, about 80 years ago in the in the 1930s. Um, may, they may have started a little earlier than that. And whenever we deregulated, PJM power pool became the PJM ISO or transmission operator and considered because they'd had so many years operation as a pool um, the transition to an ISO was was relatively uh, smooth and they were they were able to do everything um, very well they were considered the the uh, premier uh, ISO in the United States and so these guys uh, had done this 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 study for them, and they wrote this paper, and the the idea, and then we'll we'll start showing you here. But here here is the idea. I have a I have a network, and and I have a generator over here, and here's here's a customer. Um, and I I would like to sell power to him. Now, I can I can I can arrange the price of the power. So I you you, you know the, the the seller calls the buyer and negotiates price for let's let's say that that I'm going to sell him. Um, uh, I don't know, 8 megawatts. It's a lot of power. But he's a big industrial customer. He wants 8 megawatts for some process. And I, I, I can sell it to them, let's say, for one hour or for the whole day. Doesn't matter. I can sell it to them all year long. But uh, I, I negotiate a price, and, and that's, that's kind of step one. Okay, and so, so they agree. On, on the price and that's fine but okay so now now we have this we have our little ellipsis here and we'll say but and the, the problem is that seller must pay Transmission charges. 
Um, now, and the transmission charges are, in this case here, are the difference in LMP at the seller and LMP at the buyer. And, and that difference, so it's LMP minus LMP times, in our case, the 8 megawatts. That's the charge. Now, if there's no congestion, okay, so let, let's start looking at, at, the, at the various cases that we could have. Case one, no congestion, and we're going to ignore losses in this example. So, so then the LMP at the seller, um, and the LMP at the buyer are equal. So the difference being zero, there's no transmission charge. Now in a real system there will be a slight difference due to losses. If there's congestion then that, that LMP difference can get to be quite large. And then there's case, so there's case two with congestion. Now let, let's define congestion. Um, a line flow is at limit or and more 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 likely um, a contingency Um, causes a flow to hit a limit. That's much more apt to happen. That generally, the, well, I I don't know. I shouldn't shouldn't go again. I, I'm what I, what I'm really saying is that the contingency causing something to hit limit. Um, is usually going to happen before a line flow someplace just have, just gets to its limit. So in normal operation, you're running contingency studies. They will they will come up with limits before um, this happens. If you're ignoring con contingencies, well, yeah, then eventually you can push it to this. Okay, now we have congestion, and now LMP difference. can be large and that is the risk that is the risk to our seller that the transmission cost but basically um, um, is 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 as large as the sale so he he's experiencing a situation where he negotiated a nice deal with this uh, industrial customer to deliver power and he's got his generator up and they do the dispatch actually they to do it the day before, um, he's contractually obligated. He 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 said, "Okay, I'm going to deliver." Um, what one thing that's interesting is that um, these contracts are done verbally on the phone. They're probably today more done with uh, 
messaging through the internet or you know simply indications on web pages but they are contractually obligating to the parties so the the seller is 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 obligated and now for some reason we have a market and you know so there's here's our seller Here's our buyer over here, and and I have all these companies, these other generators, and loads, uh, and this this is the market. So the, so the market is affecting everything across the whole thing. That's why I cross hatched it. So this is the market. And something is 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 causing things to reach their limit, and so the market is 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 causing this, and and suddenly the seller is going to make so much money off of the sale and the transmission charge, can wipe out his a, a good deal of his profit, and maybe cause him to go into a loss completely uh, into a loss situation uh, because he has to pay the LMP difference well th that's that's a risk that's like having a fire in your house that's like having your car uh, in an accident you're, 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 you're going to do business and something happens that is not under your control that's what a risk is all about. If he knew it were going to happen, he, he wouldn't get into this situation in the in the first place. So, uh, a risk is is uh, where things that are completely out of your control. Um, in, in America, we often have the, the 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 terms "act of God" or we have the the term "force majeure." A lot of contracts uh, talk about uh, that, that certain parts of the contract are null and void if something happens that's out of the cell. Now, in, in this case, the seller-buyer arrangement does not go out the window because there's this LMP difference. Um, the market is going to operate and the seller has to pay the transmission charge. So, the seller buys an FTR. Okay, what is an FTR in, in just this incident? Let, let's see let's see that the sale uh, said eight megawatts from seller to buyer. Um and, and let's 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 say we're, we're gonna we're gonna deal with it over one one particular hour. We're gonna say from 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 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. on a certain date. So there's one there's eight eight megawatt hours, if you will, from the seller to the buyer. So that's that's the deal, and the price x times eight is is the dollars. That's the sale. And X times 8 is what the buyer is going to pay back to the seller, whatever that was. And so he wants to buy an, an FTR. And what, what he needs to do is, he, because what, what have the FTR says, okay, um, you can buy an FTR and you you, you, one of the one of those parameters is the, is a megawatt level. So he, you can buy eight megawatts FTR from seller to buyer. Now what happens? And we'll come. We'll, we'll switch our pen here a little bit. What happens? It then it says okay if. 
there is congestion. The FTR payout to the owner, who in this case is our seller, is LMP seller, my LMP buyer times 8. So the, the, the FTR um, has to have a megawatts from a two, uh, a day, and an hour. Okay, there's probably other terms, but that's all we need here. Uh, from to our buses. So, we'll see this in this uh, this little example. So that's what an FTR is. Just it just it's a contract, and and it's actually the the um, the FTR is sold by the ISO. The, the, they have a let's say a division, a financial arm, so to speak that. That sells these. So and 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 you. So our seller buys eight megawatts from the seller bus to the buyer bus. And this this. If there's congestion and there's big, and there's any transmission charge, um, it pays it. I, I don't know, and I'm not going to try to get into if there's any kind of you know uh, thing like we do in in, in in car insurance, especially. There's always this deductible, etc. Um, deductible. I, I don't think they get into anything like that, um, but I, I I could be wrong. Uh, the, the seller buyer. Uh, bus, um, and so then they they calculate the payout as eight times LMP minus LMP, and and that results in dollars. So no matter what, this is the idea. The, no matter what the the difference uh, in uh, LMPs, it pays, and and that. That basically pays the uh, transmission charge. So he has he has covered his risk. The, it, it's it's the insurance company replacing your car if you um, if you smash it up and, and roll it over and you know whatever total it, or if your house is is uh, my my house <laughs> my house was not burnt to the ground and you know so that all we had was this the cement uh, foundation and all, and a pile of ashes uh, in which case they would have rebuilt the house uh, they they did rebuild the house but they started a little bit you know with a with a uh, a foundation in the and the uh, skeletal structure of the house um, it cost them a lot of money but in any event I didn't have to pay it. That was the that was the I, I owned an insurance policy. So an FTR is an insurance policy that if this congestion thing comes up, okay. Now here's here's the here's the, the pressing question. How much should uh, the seller pay? for the FTR. Okay, how, how much should he pay? And th here again, um, like bidding in a, in, in, a, in a marketplace, we use an auction. And price um, is 
is uh, done by auction. And this is the part that, that I could not, several years ago, I could not get any, anyone, that, that you will not find FTRs explained in any textbook um, that I could find, and you will not find them explained to a, a, just a simple level in, in, in any papers except for this paper by uh, Ma, Sun, and Ott. So, let's, um, let's see how you do this auction. And let's, let's, here's our network again. Here's, here's the seller bus and the buyer bus. And what the seller wants to do is he wants to put, uh, a certain number of megawatts in here. In our case, he wants to put eight megawatts in here, and he wants to take eight megawatts out. So the the transaction, the transaction um, in there, it, it it involves two injections. Now, uh, unlike a market where this represents a bid for a generator to supply something. And he's just putting power in. And the loads all over the market can take power out. This is a specific power in, power out. There's a pair. It's, it's coupled. Uh, there's, a, there's an injection into the seller bus up here. And the buyer bus. There's a there's a, a negative injection or a, a takeout, and they are equal. So we're not sure we're going to be able to get eight megawatts, but let's suppose that uh, that we we want this now. At the same time. I have another load here and a generator up here and he wants to put in 40 megawatts and he wants to take 40 out here so he has a an, a, an injection here and a, and a and a takeout over here so there's a there's a a load here so he's got a put in here and we're going to have another one over here there's a there's a, a gen here and and a load up here so he wants to put power in and he wants to take the same amount out and what without anything else happening on the on the market and there are other things which we'll go into here the paper does a nice job of talking about it without you know what, what we want to know uh, is can can the network accommodate this all of these trends Let, let's put a let's put an amount here let's say he wants to put 15 can it accommodate an 8 megawatt transaction here a 40 megawatt transaction here and a 15 megawatt transaction here? so those those are people wanting and so so we're, we're going to say that uh, uh, each Each uh, bilateral above wishes to purchase an FTR, and it, it wouldn't matter except that they they want their FTRs for the same the same day for the same hour, different megawatts, different buses. But they're using the same network. It's obvious that the power is going to flow through the same network. And uh, it could be that the FTRs um, 
that it cannot accommodate all of them, that it cannot accommodate all of the FTRs. And that's the, that's the real issue. Um, so they, they, put a, they put a market up and you, you, you put in a bid, come on, a bid for the FTR and you, you specify a megawatt let's say X megawatt you, you specify a from bus and a two bus and a dollar amount okay and we'll assume that this is for a certain hour of the day and, and day of the year and a certain dollar uh, that you're willing that you're willing to pay this is like an auction and they all do this they all do this and then the auction uh, operates. Well, what what it comes down to then is it it, it just simply comes down to uh, a a megawatt in uh, at the from bus uh, and a megawatt out at the two. This is bus um, and at a, a price bid um, up here. So we'll say this is this is P. This is the price for that. And each each FTR seeker puts that in, and it it decides. Well, if one of them really is going to pay more, so it's like an auction now, and we've got a scarce resource. The guy that pays the most gets it. They, they, he wins the auction, and so how much can we can we allocate? Um, that's that's what this is this is all about. Now, there's other complicating factors that we're gonna that we're gonna add onto it now. But I'm gonna go back to this um, this paper. Here is their little example. In, in the paper, I encourage you to read through the paper. Uh, we don't have time because next week, uh, well, the class is in Friday. Uh, next week will be exams. And you have a homework assignment due Friday anyway. So I won't be able to give you a homework assignment, but I may give you some, I, I, I will probably give you some questions on FTRs. Um, so... Uh, for the, for the exam, uh, read this paper. Read over the notes that uh, you know, and, and you, you, you're watching our the lecture today. So here's here's the paper. Read the paper. The, this this is a diagram. It's right out of the paper. Um, now, <laughs> one of the things that I the, the paper is is great and and, and very clear. There's the, the same diagram, but you, you will notice that they don't number the buses. I don't know why. I have to number things because the computer, you know, wants a number, a bus number. I, 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 I should back up a little bit. I could. You can write computer code where buses don't have numbers assigned to them. They simply have names, and the computer just internally numbers them, and then whenever it puts the data out. But power flow data in in everywhere in the world that that I've ever dealt with, buses have numbers and names. Uh, here they only have letters, <laughs> and so and throughout the paper he'll say a transaction from E to D and from. A to B, it's oh my goodness, and so I, I, I've numbered them here. You can see uh, the numbers uh, when you get the paper. Um, you know, I, I, I can I can clue you in. You start with A is one, and B is two, and C is three, and D is four, and E is five. So it's simple. It is real simple, but uh, I, I had to go through the paper and number the buses. So we're going to keep coming back to this thing. I'll kind of leave it here. And I, I will start 
the, the, the paper does the following. Let's see, I think we, we should have plenty of time to go into this. Um, the, the paper um, we, we 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 actually have and if somebody is interested in getting the code just send me an email and I'll 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 make it available but I I don't want you to be running code and stuff so I don't know, I don't know if it's necessary I I may put it up on an internet site someplace but ba basically um I can run an OPF or an FTR uh calculation on this this five bus PJM uh, test case. So here's here's the first thing that um, we're we're going to talk about, and that is their 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 generators are they have a have a ranked order. Um, Here, here they are. Here, and uh, by the way, they not only have letters for the buses, but they do have names, which is uh, most of, most power flows. Uh, it, B doesn't have a name, but uh, uh, others do. And um, in in um, in most utility power flows, the name is a location. Or it may be a generator plant name. If the plant is named after Smith, who probably was the, the president of the power company sometime in the past, um, or maybe when Smith uh, retired, they, they, they named the next power plant after Smith. So it's called Smith Station or Smith Plant or something like that. Otherwise, the bus is a substation and it might be uh, uh, a location it's it's often a location which very likely is a is a town but if it's if they're in Minneapolis we have lots of them now there's a there's an Eden Prairie substation near me there's there's one up uh, further north on 494 uh, uh, route 494 called Parker's Lake Yes, it's close to a small lake called Parker's Lake. So it's called the Parker's Lake Substation, uh, etc. So, so the names are, have, have something to do with uh, location, usually. Um, but the, the, the first thing um, we're going we're gonna to talk about here is the the generation uh, bids, and and the, the, we're gonna first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna look at this thing and say, forgetting FTRs, we're just gonna we're gonna talk about the market itself, and then we're gonna come back and say, okay, now I want to transfer some power as a bilateral. How do I get? How do I have to? What do I have to pay and so forth in the in this FTR auction? So the generator bids, and um, I'm going to go in in merit order here. And this is the, the paper doesn't do this, but uh, it's Brighton, um, which you can see is is up here. Is is bus? We'll put the bus number five, and his his uh, his bid is. Ten dollars per megawatt hour. Okay, then it goes to Alta, which is on bus one. That's down here, and he is fourteen. And then it goes to Park City, which is which is also bus one at fifteen. And then it goes to Sundance Solitude, which is at three. That's over here, and he is at thirty. 
and then finally Sundance which is at 4 and he is at 30 as well now we we know we know from basic auction theory this is now in merit order if you want to supply a certain amount oh and and let's see he he the, the megawatts uh, bid are 100 uh, Brighton 600 I'm sorry I'm he didn't uh, let's just let's make it right 600 then it's 110 and then 100 and then two 520 and last of all 200 I'm sorry about the numbers are in nice columns <laughs> okay 600 110 so the, the 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 total down here is one is six seven eight thirteen four fifteen hundred and thirty is the total um and the first six hundred will get supplied by Brighton that's the cheapest once you have exhausted that you'd go to the next and the next 110 so from up to 710 you're, you're pulling it out of Alta and then and so forth but this is this is merit order you will see the term used and you will hear this all the time talking in, in, in talking about markets and congestion blah 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 they say, well, we had to dispatch it out of merit order. Well, if it's in merit order, you, you pick up the generation going down this list, this way. I'll point the pen. That's merit order. You pick up Brighton, all of it. Then you pick up Alta. And whenever that's done, you pick up Park City, etc. And the last one is this, this Sundance down here, 200. Uh, they're equal, so it doesn't make any difference. Can be either one, but we're just going to keep them in that that order there. So that's merit order. Okay. Um, so we're going to run an OPS. Um, and. He calls it case one. And there are three loads. There's a load at B, C, and D. There's three loads at two, three, and four. And he just chooses to make them equal. So case one, all loads are 223 megawatts. So there's three of them, B, C, B, C, D, or or two, three, four bus. And so two, th two. Did I say two twenty-three? Um, there it is. Two twenty-three. Two twenty-three. So that's nine, six, six, six hundred and sixty-nine. Okay, um, how do I get six hundred and sixty-nine if I'm if I'm ignoring um, uh, overloads or e even if I'm paying attention? If there's it in merit order. Well. Park City picks up 600. Okay. I'm sorry. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Brighton. Um, at $10 per megawatt hour uh, gets 600 megawatts. And the next one is Alta. 
Uh, he's offered 110, um, but he's at 14 dollars and he gets 69. I'm all done. So merit order says I pick up this 669 by starting with the cheapest, buy all of it, then go to the next more expensive and the next and so forth. And if you run this, and I did, and you've seen the little optimal power flow that I ran, and the results of, of this optimal power flow where the loads um, on the on buses 234 are 223 um, and the solution says that there is 60, 69 on bus 1 and 600 on bus 5 that's that's correct and here's the the bidding um, and and once again we we enter bids uh, for 14, 15, 30, 30, and there's the 10. Now I didn't put them in their merit order. And when I when I built the table, I built it the way they built it. They <laughs> they built their table out of. They put the 10 down here. So uh, the 10 sells 600. The 14 sells 69, and that's it. The others don't sell anything, and we're all satisfied with the load. And the bus, Lambda, the bus Lambda, which is on a table over here, says the bus Lambda on, the, on page one of this, you'll get these printouts, is 14. So here's the LMPs. Okay, bus Lambda, 14. Now where does it get the 14? Well, that's the, that's the clearing price of the auction. Ten dollars bought all the six hundred, you know. But but then I jumped up to the fourteen, and out of the hundred and ten, I bought sixty nine. I'm done. There's my clearing price of fourteen. Merit order. So that's the that's the merit order auction. Um, nobody reaches a limit. The the only line that we're really concerned with is is this this final one down here. Um, Five to four. Here I put uh, I, these are just I set two thousand in there so that it wouldn't hit any limit, and that's the case that he talks about, ignoring the limits. And it it's going to have a limit of of two hundred and forty, but it doesn't get there. Okay, it does not get there. So now, if you wanted to have an FTR on top of this case, this is case one. We, 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 we say case one up here. If you want to have an FTR on top of this guy, that's fine. Uh, you get, um, you, you don't have to pay anything for that. Okay, um, I'm going to put the, the data, uh, all the data in, in the notes behind that, the bus data and the bid data, so that you can see this is off the, the they're, they're, these are done with spreadsheets, so I'll, uh, I'll indicate this is uh, network data spreadsheet, and this is the bid spreadsheet. So here, here are the bids, 14, 15, 30, 30, 10. Now minus 200 means that's a load. That's that's a price, and it's bidding 223. Okay, so that's the that's the data that goes into the to the OPF, and it's the same OPF that you guys have been playing with in class, uh, in homework problems. Okay, now so that's case one. Um, case two. Uh, the the first thing we're going to do. Is we're gonna we should we should really call this uh, um, case two a. Uh, we're gonna ignore uh, line limits uh, to start with. But loads 
go from 223 to 300 each. So, so now I have um, 2, 3, 4, I have 300, 300, 300, 900. Back we go to our merit order. If there's no congestion on this network, and this, this guy up in the top is eventually going to have a, a limit uh, hit. Well, okay, if I need 900, let's, let's look at it. Now, let's say um, the, the first case, case one, uh, we had 600 and we had 69, and that's at a price of 14. That was, the rest of these were zero. Uh, case 2A, well, we're going to get 600, and I'll pick, pick this one up at 110. So that's 710. I'll pick this one up, and now I have 810. And so now, now how, how much do I need? I need 90. Um, let's, I'm, I'm going to check and make it. Yes, let's make sure that that's uh, the case we get here. Um, This is okay. I, I'm I, I've got six hundred, seven hundred and ten, um, and I've got eight hundred and ten, and I need ninety. And what it did, what my OPF did, is it it went oh, it went fifty three point four, and it went thirty six point six, and that should add up to ninety. Oh, yep. Oh. Nine, so the total is the total is nine hundred. Now, why can it pick from both? Well, they're the same price. Um, when when you're dealing with linear programs, this is one of the reasons I I prefer to use quadratic functions because this doesn't come up <laughs> when you're doing linear programs. Um, it can go from if things are equal price, it can go. From one to the other, and 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 why did it do it that way? You can't. It's it's deep in the recesses of the LP, and you don't. But but it's as optimal as any other. I could have ninety and zero, and I have the the exact same minimum cost. Okay, so it solves, and that's merit order. It picks these these last these last two up, and. Um, the, this one, I, I just did this little summation here for, for to get 90. So this is the total is 900. Okay, well, that's my second OPF, um, and the lambda, the LMPs, are now 30 because it's the final, it's the last two generators of 30 that are that are coming into play and here we see this is 261 well that's above its its actual limit which is 240 so we're going to put the limit on we're going to let the OPF solve with the limit and um, so now we have case 2 without the 2A and, and the case 2 says alright the same load, but we're going to put the limit on. And now, now the sale is is much different. The sale is uh, let's put it let's put it in a different color. Is six hundred? It it picks that one up uh, first. Okay, the next one is one hundred and ten. We're okay there. But then it picks 66, and then, um, wait a minute, now the 100 and, 110, 
Yeah, the where it's 100, it only gets six. I'm sorry, it gets 66. And then the five. Where is my 520? My 520 sells zero, and this one sells 124. Um, it's it's out of order. So so this this here is out of order. It's buying more. It doesn't buy all of this. And it comes down here and it buys the, the, the 200, out of the 200, it buys 124 and doesn't buy anything out of the bus 3 um, generator. Now, why does it do that? Well, by doing that, I can schedule the bus, or the, the, the flow to exactly 240 megawatts. And I I apologize here, but the the lambdas are are all over the place. Here are the lambdas: uh, 15, 21, 23, 30, and 10.44. So we now have one of these congestion situations where the lambdas are are going. are going off merit order and the lambdas are no longer equal because we have congestion. All right. So now there's there's another aspect to this. If I don't finish today, I will finish this on Thursday. I I thought I would finish this, but I'm 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 thinking I'm going to have to finish this on Thursday. Anyway, um, so, now we're going to have to talk about the fact that, that there's, there's complications. So, we have, we have the following, uh, and they, they talk about this in the paper. Well, the, the first thing that they talk about before they get into the FTRs, is if if I want to buy an F, FTR, um, we have something called an LSE, which is a load serving entity. Now, a load serving entity is is a name that that. Uh, is often used to cover an existing company. Okay, so we de deregulated the electric system, but we allowed the load um, serving uh, the, the, the companies to retain their distribution system and customers. Uh, they may not have they have to open up their transmission system, but they may still uh, own generation that's there to serve that load. So it's like this. I have, you know, I have a bunch of loads over here. These are my loads. I've been serving them for years, and I build a transmission system to supply those loads. So here, here I am over here, and I. I built these generators to supply. And along came deregulation and it said, well, the, the high voltage system is now um, is now open to, to anybody that uh, that wants to use it. And so here's here's the network out here. Maybe there's a, there's another way to get back here. So so the network is open. Open access that, that anybody can get on. So the load serving entity has generators that it that it typically uses, and what we what we say is well, you know they they built they built this, and now you're taking it away. Well, no, we're not taking away the transmission system. We're simply saying it's open to anybody else. But then they came back and said, well, look, I mean, we built it. We built it. We paid for it. 
and you, you, you're you not taking ownership away from us, but you're telling us that we have to let anybody use it. Suppose the anybody that's out there using it overloads that network and we can't supply our customers from the generators that we built to supply those customers. Okay. And so they they are they are called the the, 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 the the definition that we use here is an an N I T S. Okay, an N I T S and someplace here I had a a sheet which is a definition of that that uh, that I that I gave you, and it's in the in the um, yeah. Today we watched our professor fumble through all of his papers, looking for something. I apologize, folks. I apologize. Here it is. And this, this stands for Network Integration Transmission Service. And we allow them, we allow them to have an FTR that's, that's going to allow them to serve their, their customers through the transmission system. Um, and you, you have this in your, in your, your data, and it, it, uh, it says that, uh, uh, allows a transmission customer to integrate, plan, economically dispatch, and regulate its network resources to serve its network load in a manner comparable to that in which the transmission provider utilizes the transmission system to serve the native load customers. Network integration transmission service also may be used by transmission customer to deliver non-firm energy, etc., etc. So this guy wants this guy wants to kind of put in his a a a a a certain amount of megawatts from some place to some place. So we'll pick we'll pick up a. a a bus here and say okay from from this bus to let's say this bus over here um, so he gets he gets an FTR from from here to here uh, that so that he can serve these customers that's network integrated transmission service and that's that's going to be part of our problem that's going to be on the system um, and so in this this example in the in the paper, there's prior committed FTRs. Prior committed FTRs. Now, uh, LSE there's BCD, and the BCD, which is not obvious until you start going around, there's loads B C uh, and and D, where is D? Uh, B, C, D. D has a load on it. Okay, so B has a load, C has a load, and D has a load. And there are three load-serving entities, and they want to deliver 400, 350, and so forth. And they buy FTRs. Now, it's, it's interesting because one of these FTRs is... Um, is to, to have power delivered from solitude to the load. Well, it doesn't even use the network. It's right on the same bus, but they list it that way. Um, some of it, anyway. The rest of it for for that one, for C, gets 200 from E, which is up here. 200 goes to, to C. So part of C gets supplied here, and the rest gets supplied from up here. Uh, the first one, B, is E to B, so that's also from Brighton to B. Um, D, the load on D, is served 
C, solitude up to D, that's using the transmission, but then the rest of it is, is simply from Sundance generator right in, in there. That's 130. Uh, last of all, there's a, there's this thing called FPPS. Um, which is a, uh, a, a point to point, uh, a service. Uh, that 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 uh, is on here, and somebody has prior set up from A to D, which is uh, basically from from this bus uh, all the way out here uh, to D is 70 megawatts. So these are prior committed FTRs. Well, now I, I what am I supposed to do in my my LP? Uh, remember, my LP is going to have an injection here and an injection here of, of so many megawatts, and then it's going to have it's going to have another one. It's going to have an, an injection here and a takeout. I should, should call these others. So this is into a bus, and this is out. This was into a bus, and this was out. These are this is a, a pair in and out, in and out. Well, what we all we have to do then is come back and simply put. A bunch of fixed transactions in on the network itself, and it causes it to load up. It causes the, the you know so so I can put a, a NIST a NIT NITS. me. <laughs> Here's a NITS, okay, and it comes down here. I'm just illustrating this. So, so here's a this is a NITS. N I T S. And it, there may be several of them on the on the system. I'll 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 put them all in here, okay? In and out. And last of all, I have a I have one that that crosses way over here, and this is this is an in, and an out. So these are NITS. Uh, I should have put fixed here. Fixed point to point. So they, these guys all own FTRs, and then uh, we have we have uh, finally at the at the, at the end uh, we we come in and there's a there's a point to point where somebody has already purchased an FTR ahead of time, uh, and so that's that's this one here is a is a firm a fixed point to point service. All right. All they're saying is that this, this exists ahead of time. Um, and it causes transfers, it causes flows on the transmission system. Um, and so the F, the, these, these flows have to be added. So what, what you need to do now, and then, now let me, let me back up. Here's our table. So these are prior committed FTRs that they put into this thing. And all I have to do here, except for the C to C and D to D, I can ignore. All the rest of them use the transmission system. So I have to put a 400 megawatt in at E and out at B. In at E and out at C, 200 megawatts. Uh, 220 in at C, out at D. And... La and and last of all, 70 in at A, out at D. And these are just uh, fixed uh, flows. Somebody already owns those FTRs. So if they own it, then the auction had better be set up. So they've, they've already established those FTRs. And now we're going to... So this is, this is new down here bids to buy FTRs, and sometimes people want to sell them. Now that means that uh, um, you, 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 you were able to buy, uh, you were able to sell it. And you'll notice that uh, E to C is already, signed. so out of this 200, he's willing to sell. Apparently he doesn't think he needs it. And A to D uh, down here uh, is, is willing to sell. Uh, 
10 megawatts each. They're willing to sell. The, the, so if you, if you go, go in there and buy an FTR later on, you think, oh, I'm not going to use it. I can sell it. I'll put it in the auction for that particular time period when I don't need it. So these are these are new new um, new bids uh, in here. A to D would like five more megawatts. It's a, a five dot, huh? Forty more megawatts for five bucks. I would also like to to do a E to B. So if we once again uh, let's uh, let's put our I can't. Uh, can we get all of that on the on the screen? I can try. Uh, I can't. So E to B is is here down to to B. Um, ten megawatts. Ten megawatts from A to D. And here he is, A up to D. And uh, E to C, ten megawatts. Uh, e to C. So these are these are. Entities now that want to that want to increase they, they want to buy these FTRs For different amounts of megawatts and that's the amount they're going to pay and he talks about this in the paper um, What whether or not that's uh, it's related to the OPF uh, With the differences in LMPs last of all we have the uh, the offers to sell and so there's a way of putting this into the into the LP and and the um, the data that goes into the LP is the same network data. But here here are the bids to buy, sell, and. You, you notice it says uh, the, the first is one to four. Now, back here, one is A, four is D. That's the AD. And that's the $5 price, 40 megawatts. So there's the 40 megawatts at $5. These are all the, the bids to buy. And the sell, we put negative like we do with load. So this is like, the, these are, and we put them in as we put them in the in the the same LP as we would for an OPF, except this has got a positive in and this has got a positive out, and they're locked. They are up to 40 megawatts, but whatever goes in comes out. That's the FTR. Whatever goes in comes out. So you you remember that I have a an in, and then I have an out, and that that amount that X is is the same. And so this guy wants his X to go up to 40 megawatts for five bucks. He'd like to get 40 megawatts. And then I put in the, the NITS down here. And that just simply is a set of, of transfers, 400. So these are the, the ones where they already own it. They already own this much. And so those, if they own it, I'll put that much transfer on the system. And then I can run it. An FTR calculation. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going here. This, <laughs> 415 is the is the is the end time because that would be if we we're in the, the the Keller Hall there 125. But here we are. So I'm gonna keep going. It won't take me long. And then I don't have to carry it over. Okay. So here's the the basic FTR calculation. Um, and the the um, here's the the NITS here, the network integration integrated transmission service. Um, these are the the FTRs, um, and how much uh, uh, they they actually. Uh, is that right? That's not right. I am sorry. That page doesn't belong either. Here it is. Here it is. It's the same one. Price five dollars. So this is this is when we do the auction. This is the result. Here's N N I T S. And so at five dollars, he didn't get his forty megawatts. He only got twenty-eight point one. Um, at four dollars, this one 
he got he got ten like he wanted. Uh, this one didn't get anything. These two didn't get anything, and this guy sold uh, ten. So he sold ten. Sold ten megawatts. He got twenty-eight point one. He got ten. He got zero. He got zero. So. And it shows the resulting flows. You will notice I'm up against the flow limit. If I was not up against the flow limit, I could add FTRs all day long and uh, until it hits a flow limit. Once we're hitting flow limits, I can't give you an FTR uh, anymore. Uh, however, and so what I, what I did here is I said, all right, well, suppose... Suppose this guy, the, the 1 to 4, which is the A to D, he really wants to get that 40 megawatts through the system. And, and, he, and, he, and he says, I don't want to pay $5 for it. I don't want to pay $5. I, I want 40. If I can't get it, then I will up my bid. I'll up my bid. And so he ups his bid uh, to 6 and he gets 38.7 and right away the second one goes to zero the other ones go to zero and look at this I start to sell a little bit down here at 3.5 um, if I if he ups it to 750 he gets the 40 megawatts the other two get the other three get nothing the 10 megawatt ones get nothing and he sells 10 and he sells 4.8 but he's willing to buy. He's willing to buy. Um, if if he raises the price to ten, um, it doesn't change anything. The amount uh, you you get you get these in the in the notes. So um, let, let me go back and, and annotate this. Um, we'll, we'll start this off, and we'll say. Um, a to D, which is basically boss one to boss four, uh, wants 40 megawatts. He's got a, a good solid customer and he doesn't want to lose money on the deal. And so the first bid is five dollars. And, and he gets 28.1 megawatts disappointing so now he he uh, a to d uh, bid six dollars and now he gets 38.7 and then he raises it to up here to to 750 uh, 7.5 oh dollars a to d and he gets 40 megawatts. Everybody else is flat out. And in other words, by, by, by paying enough, he can get it. Now, I hope, I hope that uh, the price that, that he paid here, and he pays per megawatt, is, is worth it. Well, maybe he's got a sale um, that's, that really makes this, this price worth it. Uh, he has to do some discovering of the, the amount. If he did A to D... Uh, bid ten dollars he would get it as well so here's here's the ten and there's the 750 so you can see that that um, uh, there's the six um, and here's our our five dollars so I did four cases of, of FTR calculations um, and so we, we can just we can just show here's here's my I don't have another color. Well, I'm going to use a, a great big um, green one here. In a red. Here we go. So here's here's my A to D here. A to D. And, and it's coming across the system. And he wants to put and come out here. And he wants 40 megawatts. And this is a new FTR. All the rest of these guys are loading up the system at their full FTR. He pushes it in and takes it out, and he gets the 40 by buying, by, by paying enough. 
and that causes some of the other people bidding not to not to get their their uh, FTR at all. At the at the very end, the very end um, of this process, they go through a test. Test at the end called a simultaneous feasibility test. And that simply says if we've sold all these FTRs, can the power system take all of the transfers implied up to the megawatt limits simultaneously and still meet the flow limits, the first contingency limits, voltage within limits, and so forth. Can the power system do it, in other words? Can it do it? And um, it's, it's just a completely you know, basically to say, uh, make, make safe. Uh, they can't, they can't have the financial transmission rights, uh, set up and then, gee, we're sorry. You bought this FTR. Um, the power system can't actually take the transfer. So you don't get, you don't get paid anyway. So it actually, uh, they do this simultaneous feasibility test. Uh, what actually happens on the system is there's an auction, and then they go back and they they, they do this 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 simulation of the simultaneous feasibility test. Uh, some of the ISOs use completely separate uh, software written by different organizations to, to check each other to make sure that there's no built-in error. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. Uh, I knew the vendor of one of the the auction software uh, and and for for one of the ISOs and uh, the, the, then the, then there's a different vendor they bought from an identical purposed piece of software which is written obviously by different people so it'll be written differently but have the same input data and check to see that it gets the exact same output. This is they, their way of guaranteeing that nobody can can sue them because of, because there's some built-in error in the in the in the software that biases it one way or the other. They use you know software from from company A and software from company B somewhere. Okay, so that's FTRs. Um, we will see you on Thursday. Uh, I will probably do some. Some presenting some PowerPoints uh, that, that I have on power trading and, and uh, maybe a couple other topics on Thursday. We'll talk about the final exam. Thank you for, uh, for allowing me to go 10 minutes over. Uh, and we will uh, end our meeting now. Good night.